All County Healthcare, Inc. is locally owned and operated, serving the Tri-County area, Palm Beach, Dade, and Broward Counties for the last 25 years. The practice of medicine is changing dramatically. All County Healthcare, Inc. still does it the old-fashioned way, where our nurses and healthcare professionals come into your home to service your medical needs, providing you the fastest and best care possible. For more information, call 954 717 7027. And remember, Medicare Home Care is covered by Part A of Medicare with no out of pocket cost to you. It's your decision and only your decision on what health care agency you use. Call today, All County Home Health Care Inc. at 954 717 7027. License 20099096. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Welcome to How to Stay Healthy, where we interview doctors each week across the vast medical landscape of cardiology, neurology, orthopedics, sports medicine, and primary care. Join us here for your prescription to better health. Hello, South Florida and beyond, and welcome to the How to Stay Healthy show, TGIF edition. Definitely here today. We're going to be talking a lot about arthritis, and if I can pronounce it correctly, rheumatology on the show tonight. So I don't think we've had a rheumatologist on the show the, the past few years, so this is going to be a very informative show. As always, check it out on Facebook Live. We're on All County Healthcare INC's Facebook Live page, and you can always get the shows at allcountyhealthcare.com. Uh, but without further ado, I want to welcome to the program Dr. Jigger Shah. He's a rheumatologist and arthritis specialist. But as I read up a little more, and he'll tell us a little bit about internal medicine as well. Dr. Shah, Shah, welcome to the program. How are you doing this evening? Thank you so much. We really appreciate you having us on board here. Thank you. And as I was saying, um, so you did your uh, study in internal medicine, and that kind of morphed into rheumatology and arthritis? Uh, yeah, so... Um after med school, uh, I applied for internal medicine. I completed an internal medicine uh, residency program. While I was in internal medicine residency pro program, I realized my desire to pursue further uh, academics, and then I went into a uh, subspecialty into the field of rheumatology. Yeah, and that's um, kind of a unique field. As I said, I have a lot of cardiologists on the show, obviously mm -hmm. a lot yep. of orthopedic surgeons in this area. Because uh, the people around here are like <laughs> weekend warriors. Exactly. Like the fun in the sun. But um, there's not a lot of rheumatologists, maybe in certain parts of South Florida, but we're going to get into it. Uh, not so much in your area, and we don't want to let the, the cat out of the bag there, yeah, though. But okay. that's... Um, tell me a little bit about what actually rheumatology is. So rheumatology is actually, it's the study of rheumatism, which basically is... Um, a multitude of autoimmune conditions and also various amounts of arthritis. Um, it encompasses so many different um, disease entities um, in that one field of autoimmune because it's basically your own immune system attacking itself, which is can be a multitude of things again. Okay, so arthritis, it has a lot to do with the immune system, autoimmune system, but also um, you mentioned disorders of, of muscles and ligaments. So like I said, we have a lot of orthos on the program. We're always talking muscles and ligaments, but we're talking about fractures, break, and whatnot. But like you said, this is something where the muscles and ligaments kind of attack the body? Exactly. So we also treat um, golfer's elbow, tennis elbow. We all can also can treat just arthritis of the wrist. But what, what we're really looking for is, is there a systemic issue? Is there a real actual cause of why your muscles are hurting or why your ligaments are hurting or why your tendons are hurting? Um, and that's when a rheumatologist really plays a big role here is trying to figure out is there an actual real cause instead of just treating that one individual thing, treating the actual cause of the problem. Okay. That's interesting because uh, kind of the way I think is like, okay, uh, you know, my leg or my foot hurts really bad. Maybe, you know, I have to see a um, sports medicine physician right away. You know, but it, sometimes it's not a, a fracture or a strain or a break. It can be other things. And I know we're going to get into it as well that a lot of doctors refer to you when they kind of have a question mark. Exactly, exactly. Um, so with the field of rheumatology, obviously, um, any inflammation, so it's like a lot of inflammatory conditions. Again, inflammation can happen all the way from your head all the way down. So it can affect your eyes, can affect your heart, your skin, your liver, your lung obviously your joints and so forth like that. So we do get a lot of referrals from primary care doctors, from neurologists, from 
kidney specialist saying something's going on here. I just need some help to connect the dots. And that's when we really step in here and see if there is something to connect the dots and then start to treat the actual cause of what all these organs are actually going a little haywire for. And your specialty um, starts with rheumatology, but also arthritis. And it seems like a common term, but I, I feel like general public, we really don't know what it is. What is arthritis? So arthritis, the, the word itself is just um, any kind of joint pain, any kind of joint issues. Um, again, there's over 100 types of arthritis. Uh, a lot of it, for as a rheumatologist, we really want to uh, differentiate. Is it really an inflammatory arthritis or is it more of a degenerative arthritis? And in those two categories, there's obviously a whole cascade of different types of arthritis going on there. But again, the word arthritis is just as, is a very general term for any type of joint, inf um, joint pain or joint issues going on. Now, when uh, people come to see you, whether they're referred to or they, they come on their own, um for arthritis, is there a, a specific age range of patients that you treat? Do you go all the way down to pediatrics or and then all the way up to like octogenarians or even 100-year-old <laughs> patients, I imagine? Yeah, so we actually, um, people, it's not just the over 65 crowd that we see. Um, we, we see all the way from as young as 18 years old and okay. we go all the way through. Because um, again, a lot of those other conditions can happen at a younger age. So we usually want to get them treated earlier and get them diagnosed earlier. But obviously, we're not seeing pediatrics, um, but any between 18 to all the way, we do see we even have a few 90-year-old patients in our practice as well. Um, same issues, a lot of arthritis going on there. So we're always just trying to make their own conditions better, make them able to do their daily activities. And that's the main goal in our, in our field is here, is trying to make it so individualized for each patient, knowing what each patient's goal is. Is their, is their goal just to make sure they do their daily activities? Is their patient's goal to make sure they get back on the tennis court? Can they get back to playing their normal sports and what they need to do and for us is to play in that role in that care. In other words, back to their quality of life? Exactly. It's always important for quality of life. A lot of times patients tell us, oh, what should I do? Should I take this medicine, this medicine? It's actually, you need to be taking the right medications, you need to be doing the right kinds of exercises, you need to be having the right diet, and all those really play a big role in patient's condition. Hmm, I didn't know that. Now we're here with Dr. Jigger Shah. He's a rheumatologist. Um, tell us a little bit about where your office is located and about your practice. Um, so the office is a brand new office. Uh, we just opened at this new location. Um, we're at the corner of uh, Sample and 441. Um, the actual the address is 5901 Colonial Drive. Um, it's in Margate, Florida. It's actually right next to Northwest Medical Center. Um, it's a brand new office. We redid everything in the office. Um, we also have in our office an ultrasound tech as well. So all of our injections, if you have a knee issue or you were saying uh, elbow issue or shoulder issue, all our injections are done under ultrasound guidance. Um, the reason is you can actually see it when you come into our office where that needle is going, knowing it's going to go in the right area. And so you get that sense of comfort and relief knowing the shot's not going somewhere haywire. It's going in the exact location it's supposed to be going. That's what always amazes me doing this show. I, I told you it's a labor of love, but also yeah. the medical technology, the way it's moved in the last few years, it's just amazing that that's being done in office. Mm -hmm. And um, you said Sample Road in 441. So, yeah, just around the corner from here, just west, uh, a little southwest of here in the studio that we're at. But we're, yeah. on in Bo uh, we're on in Palm Beach County and Broward County as well. Um, so, again, it's 5901 Colonial Drive, Suite 303 in Margate. And I have typed out FloridaRoomCenter.com as the uh, website. So that's our website, www.FloridaRoomCenter.com. It has all our actual office information on there. It even has our um, new patient forms on there. So we even tell a lot of our patients, I know, um, things that we don't want to happen in our office. We don't want patients to be waiting around. So you can always go to the website, download the forms, fill the forms out, come, come in, check in, drop the forms off to the front desk you'll get seen even faster that way because you're not sitting there in the waiting room filling out forms, which usually most patients do their first visits, constant forms to be filled out. That's, that's a nice um, uh, feature as well. And again, it's FloridaRoomCenter.com. You spell room, R-H-E-U-M, so Florida, R-H-E-U-M, Center.com. i got a couple more arthritis questions for you. I'm just sure, like, go. firing them out. Fire yeah. that. Let's go. And I, I Knock them out of the park here. Yeah, so um, I always hear about rheumatoid arthritis. Mm -hmm. really don't know what it is, but it seems to be like the key term in arthritis. Is that one of the more common ones? It is one of the more common ones. Um, and again, it's an inflammatory arthritis, so it's not an arthritis... People get, oh, you're 90 years old, you just developed rheumatoid arthritis. It's an arthritis you do, 
do develop at a younger age. Somewhere around that 30-year-old age mark is when patients start to develop it. And it's usually an arthritis that happens at two joints at the same time. So we usually tell patients it happens in both hands at the same time or both shoulders at the same time, both knees, both ankles. So it's a very symmetrical kind of an arthritis. Um, there's completely different types of um, medications to treat that arthritis. Um, it's not just your Tylenol or get a quick injection or an ibuprofen pill. There's actually real treatment to uh, the, combat that type of arthritis. Wow, learn something new every day, the symmetrical. <laughs> that is really interesting. And as we were e emailing back and forth, too, you um, you typed back to me that, um, you know, there's like 100 different types of arthritis. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. There's, I mean, even patients with psoriasis, they uh -huh. have almost about a 40% chance of getting arthritis, which is called psoriatic arthritis. Um, patients with Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, a lot of GI um, issues, they also have a high chance of getting arthritis. Um, so there's... Patients with Lyme disease get arthritis. A lot of viral infections can develop into an arthritis category. There's just a multitude of arthritis. That's why when they come and see us, we really want to try to um, try to unfold those things and try to see exactly what type of arthritis that the patient actually has. And I had two more quick questions about arthritis before we take a quick break. But um, I'm going to ask you about management options for arthritis on the other side of the break, kind okay. of the tease right there. Okay. But um, can arthritis be hereditary? It can. There is a role um, for genetic factors, especially in that inflammatory category that we just discussed about. Um, for the non-inflammatory category, there's not really a role for genetics in there, but definitely for that inflammatory category, there is a role. You just can't blame your mom or dad about it, but there is a small role in that. Again, a lot of those conditions are autoimmune, so it is your own body's kind of uh, attacking itself for those arthritis. Unbelievable. Yeah, I was just wondering because my uh, grandfather had arthritis really bad or or so he s said, but it's hard to know, I mean, because unless you're that person, I mean... It's hard to, yeah, yeah it's hard to go into that person's body feels, know what they're actually feeling and what their real um, issues are. What, are what do patients tell you? Is like a painful, throbbing pain, or is it different types of levels of uh, discomfort? Or So we get the whole basket of uh, issue, uh, terms thrown at us at our office. A lot of patients complain of painful, swollen joints. Um, they complain of really, if you touch it, it's really warm and tender. Um, so we really should get a lot of those complaints. We also get patients that say it feels like a dull ache. Um, sometimes ice and rest and all those things help it. Um, a lot of times patients complain like a sharp knife in one of their joints and they feel like somebody's stabbing them in a joint. So it's just a vast amount of um, terms that can be labeled uh, for the different types of arthritis. Can weather like a rainy day like this or the barometric pressure drop in before a storm have yes. anything to do with so it? Really? It is. It is um, People usually say, oh, the weather bothers me, and people can say, oh, that's not true. Actually, it is true, and actually, it's actually your own body's uh, reaction to the atmospheric pressure and the barometric pressure that you were talking about. So, it, it, for an example, let's say you lived in Alaska for your entire life, and you came to Florida, you're going you're gonna to start developing some minor joint pains or some arthritis pains as well, because your body's just used to that particular type of climate, and now you're changing climates as well. Same thing when it's a night, regular hot, sunny day in South Florida, and all of a sudden, the weather changes like this, and it's nice a little cold and rainy, and people start to notice it. A little change in the atmospheric pressure, definitely your body starts to react to it. Very interesting. Well, hold that thought, Dr. Sean. On the other side, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When, like I said, we're going to talk about the management options for uh, rheumatology and arthritis on the How to Stay Healthy show. County Healthcare, Inc. is locally owned and operated, serving the Tri-County area, Palm Beach, Dade, and Broward Counties for the last 25 years. The practice of medicine is changing dramatically. All County Healthcare, Inc. still does it the old-fashioned way, where our nurses and healthcare professionals come into your home to service your medical needs, providing you the fastest and best care possible. For more information, call 954-717-7027. And remember, Medicare Home Care is covered by Part A of Medicare with no out-of-pocket cost to you. It's your decision and only your decision on what health care agency you use. Call today, All County Home Health Care, Inc. at 954-717-7027. License 2009096. How to Stay Healthy. It's a question asked by many people and answered by few. On How to Stay Healthy with David DePino. I'm going to bring you the latest in health news by interviewing top doctors from South Florida and around the world. Tune in on Fridays at 5.30 p.m. right here on WWNN Radio 95.3 FM and 1470 AM, the Health and Wealth Network. 
to hear the latest health treatments and my curveball question of the hobbies and passions in life doctors pursue when not providing medicine. And now back to How to Stay Healthy, your weekly doctor's interview and prescription to better health. Hello, South Florida and Beyond, and welcome. We're back here with Dr. Jigger Shaw. He's a rheumatologist and arthritis specialist, as well as studied internal medicine, as we were saying. Right before the break, Dr. Shaw, I wanted to ask you, um, what are the management options for arthritis today? Um, so again, management options. Uh, it, again, it depends on the different the, the actual cause of the arthritis. Um, there are oral tablets that can help. There also are self-injectables that can help. There also are, in our office, what we do is infusion therapy, which is... You come in sometimes once a month or once every two months to get something um, via intra, intra vein um, to help your different types of arthritis. Uh, but again, all different, each of those mechanisms acting for the treatment also need to play a role with diet as well as with the pro appropriate exercise. So we usually tell patients it's not just one of these things that's going to completely cure you. It usually is a co-management of all those conditions. And you said food a couple times, so that is important, what you're eating. Yeah, um, especially I mean, in this day and age, everybody's really trying to figure out what they should eat and what they shouldn't eat. Um, there are some known causes of what causes inflammation in the foods you eat. Um, tomatoes is a really big thing that do does cause inflammation. I'm not saying not to eat tomatoes, um, just to decrease it a little bit because it does lead to inflammation. Um, white rice, breads also. Um, so I know pizza is basically off for a lot of people here. But um, but those are the one of the few main categories that do um, lead to some more inflammation in their body. Yeah, I was just reading the American Heart Association. They have a, a cauliflower pizza so that you make the dough out of cauliflower. Yeah. And so there are some options. You've got you to, gotta, you know, do what you can. We have a lot of cardiologists on here, so we talk a lot about food, but never looped it in with rheumatology yeah, and arthritis. Yeah, definitely plays a role in arthritis. And tomatoes, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And breads. Yep. Two things I need to stay away from, for sure. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> Let's, uh... Go 360 back to your office here. Sure. Okay, so again, floridaroomcenter.com. That's Florida, and then R-H-E-U-M center.com. Put that in your browser. At the corner of Sample Road and 441, right next to Northwest Medical Center, as you said, 5901 Colonial Drive, Suite 303 in Margate, which is really um, very conveniently located, 954-281-8891. Yep, Did I that's get that the right? phone number, yep. Tell me about, you have an interesting um, appointment times, and, and when I say interesting, I think, I think it's great because um, there's, a, there's a lot of options. Uh, yeah, so again, uh, we're right out that corner on 441, so I really wanted to make sure the office, one, is located in the perfect location. Um, obviously, being born and raised in South Florida, I really wanted to do, uh, make it an area where it's central to as many, uh, and many uh, cities as possible. So we're right near Parkland, right near Coconut Creek, Coral Springs as well as in Tamarack and those areas as well in Deerfield Beach. Um, so when I opened this office, I really wanted to do something that's conducive for the patient. What would I want if I was a patient? Um, so I decided, first thing I want, I want, I don't want to take off work when I have to go see a doctor. And I, I mean, nobody wants to take off work if they have to just to go for a checkup or have an issue. So we opened up some late hours. Wednesdays, every Wednesday, we're open till 7 p.m., Fantastic. Um, Let me say that. That's I'm not great. sure my staff would say it's fantastic, <laughs> but it, um, I, I think the patients really love it, um, knowing that they don't have to take off full day off of work. They can just leave maybe 30 minutes earlier and get to our Working office. Working into their schedule on Wednesday. Definitely. Exactly. Exactly. And another big thing which we did um, is we opened up Saturdays. Um, I didn't want to obviously take away all our free time and my staff's free time, but we do a 9 to 12 on Saturdays by appointments only. And to be honest, those have become our busiest days, and patients have always gave us good feedback saying, nobody else has given us Saturdays. I mean, now I don't have to take off work. I can come on my free time, and they're very compliant patients, and the appointments are getting filled up. I mean, it's, it's been remarkable, the success we've had, knowing that patients really wanted a Saturday appointment. I got to tell you, I'm a workaholic, and I, I really yeah. appreciate that. I mean, hopefully I don't have to come and see you, but if I, if I do, I mean, I will take that into account because... It's tough when you're working. I work. I was telling you before, I work yeah. a few extra gigs. I, I do a little freelancing on the side. This is as a labor of love kind of thing. And it's hard to get off even if you use your lunch break for exactly. a, an appointment. It's not impossible. With traffic in South Florida, oh, yeah. days, you're not going to get from point A to point B. Um, so, yeah, the Saturdays, we've been really finding great success in our office with keeping us open. And it's more for the patients, like give them another avenue so they don't have to take time off work. And they actually will take more ownership of their own conditions, we've realized with that. 
Yeah, and Saturdays is great, 9 to 12 p.m. It's so 9 to noon. And But you said you opened this office, brand new office, but um, you do have some prior experience in South Florida. This isn't your first um, professional experience. Yeah, so actually, obviously, being born and raised Palm Beach Gardens, I'm a Palm Beach kid. Um, uh, after going to school at the University of Miami, then I went to St. George's for med school, did the rest of my training in New York, which I'm a big lover of New York. I love bagels. I'm a, I just told you about bread, but I'm a big bagel fan up in New York. Um <laughs> Where'd you do your training at? Uh, I did it at SUNY Downstate Medical Center oh, yeah. in Brooklyn. Fantastic. Um, so actually, when I moved back down here after training, I w was in private practice um, in a group down near Miami. Um, I was there for about two and a half years. Um, I loved working down there. Traffic probably definitely not in mm -hmm. love with that. Um, and I realized after two and a half years, I really wanted to expand to a practice and do a practice that was more conducive for the patient. Patients are happier. They're in and out of the office faster. They're not having to sit there at the waiting room. I see, I hear horror stories of patients. Hey, I waited for my doctor for three hours, and they finally saw me. That's not the right way to practice medicine. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like you've got to be more patient-oriented, uh, and that's what we did in this new practice. And you can hear it in your voice. You have a passion for what you do, and that's, I think, most important no matter what you do in life. I appreciate it. And, and that's and fantastic. And I have a lot in common with you. I'm from Jupiter originally, yeah. native. <laughs> You're a native of Palm Beach Gardens. Yep. You're the town south of us. So <laughs> we were both born at Palm Beach Gardens Medical Same Center. Hospital, yeah. Fun fact. And we both have new baby girls. Yep. Tell me about yours. Um, so I have a two-year-old at home, and we just had a two-month-old, um, Karina. Um, Beautiful. Everyone, yeah. everyone told me before you have uh, the second child. It's not two children. It's going to end up being like five children. Um, so <laughs> it, it is a lot. Um, the two girls, Sonia and Karina, they're a handful, but... Um, my wife's my wife's also a physician, Monica, and so she's really been kind of the the matriarch of the family, just been holding on, and making sure everything gets done properly. So even with so opening this new practice up, she's really been the most in instrumental part of our lives right now. Fantastic. What is Dr. Monica's medical specialty? Uh, so she's board certified in internal medicine. Um, so she's actually working right now currently in Fort Lauderdale as well. Oh, neat. Same last name as Dr. Monica yep, Shaw? Monica Shaw. And that's S-H-A-H, -H, if you're scoring at home or online or wherever. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. I was sharing with you during the break that um, I have uh, my baby girl, Daisy. Yeah. Tapino will be one years old next Friday. Can't wait it's for that cake imagine. smash. You better be posting yeah. some videos of this cake uh, smash. Definitely. Well, everyone knows my wife's a pastry chef, and we actually specialize in a lot of paleo, gluten-free, vegan, and regular sweets as well. Uh, okay, so, good, yeah. So that's good. We're, we're actually known for our paleo stuff, which is good, believe it or not. <laughs> I do try a few things. I used to cook, but long story short, what I was getting to... Um, <laughs> The pediatrician said, you know, don't, the grandma's going to want to give her sugar, my mom. Yeah, exactly. Don't grandma's always, just yeah. let her get the sugar from the fruit. And that in the one year, they can do a quick cake smash. So my wife is so uh, happy to be making the cake this <laughs> week. It's probably going to be like that big, you know, but yeah, it's a big it was, deal. It's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, yeah. I remember when we did it, it was, it was the most fun experience I've yeah. ever heard about. And so you have a kid and then you're like, wait, what is this cake smash? Thing? I'm looking for it because we're going through the thing right now. She claps and then the whole table claps. Yeah. And we do that. And then like the uh-oh, even though we didn't drop anything. So yeah. we get, really get into that phase. I mean, it's I'm amazing. Sure. Daddy's girl, so I'm sure she's going to get spoiled really well. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I always talk about it on the show, so hopefully listeners... Yeah. Um, don't mind. What are your <laughs> hobbies and passions in uh, in and uh, outside of medicine? It's always my curveball question. Always messes me up there, but I love to hear the answers. Um, so obviously, right now we're really busy with um, the two kids at home, um, as well as a new practice. But I'm a big football fan, a big avid football um, sports fan, actually sports fanatic. Um, I'm I told you from uh, Miami Hurricane, so um, we go to a lot of the games, travel to the ACC championship games and so forth like that. Oh, wow. Um, going up to Labor Day to Dallas to go watch them play the LSU Tigers. Maybe one of the best games of the year. Yeah. Starts it right game. out. Yeah, opening game, right all the marbles. Exactly. Just all in. But, yeah, it's, it's a hard first game to play in, but I got a good faith in our Canes. Uh, we did really well yeah. last year. Hopefully we can repeat that performance and get a little farther this year to maybe the national championship game. I've been reading about them. They always have good recruiting class, especially Mark Richt, who's from Boca, who quarterbacked here in Boca Raton. Yeah. For Boca exactly. Raton High School. And he's doing great. He's really recruiting from South Florida. So it's, I mean, yeah. for, as a former Canes graduate, it really makes us really happy to know he's actually getting the population that we really, want, really wanted him to recruit from. That's fantastic. Quick fun fact, I grew up as a Canes fan, went to a lot of Florida State, Miami. Kevin Patrick, who played for the Canes mm -hmm. from Forest Hill High School, coached me my senior year of high school. 
1996 defensive line. Really? Yeah, so Kevin Patrick, he was an All-American, and he yeah, went on yeah. to play for the Los Angeles Rams briefly, and today he's a coach at NC State of the defensive line. Really? Wow. Yeah, Look at those facts. connections. Well, we're running out of time. We'll have to have you back on the program. That was a fantastic talk about rheumatology and arthritis, and I really appreciate it. Again, thanks for so much for having me on. Again, Dr. Jigger Shaw, um, over at Margate, 954-281-8891, FloridaRoomCenter.com. Thank you, and have a good evening. For a prescription to better health from the top doctors in the medical fields of cardiology, neurology, orthopedics, sports medicine, and primary care, join us each week on the How to Stay Healthy Show. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors.